four, episode four. The title of this morning message is, "Were you born in the year of the rabbit?" Just kidding. <coughs> Who is talking with Elmo and Mr. Octopus about Chinese New Year's zodiac characters? Let's watch to see what we can learn from this ancient tradition. Were you born in the year of the rabbit? No, I was born in the year of the dog, but I don't think it represents me. I can see that you are a lawyer and honest. Who isn't? These characteristics are for anyone to aspire to. If you are honest, does it make Mr. Octopus dishonest? That doesn't sound right, does it? This is my ear, so I'm very, I'm feeling very happy to be born a rabbit. This is what I mean, Mr. Octopus. You're becoming more and more like a rabbit. I'm not crazy about letter. Try some other love. Do you think my ears are getting bigger and bigger? The year of the rabbit. The Chinese zodiac says the qualities are kind, quiet, elegant, and patient. See, I told ya, Box Bunny is the only talking rabbit. You are so quiet when you're eating. It is not polite to talk with your mouth full. <laughs> Where do this animal come from? According to thought, that called the Eastern Zodiac comes from the animals of the countryside. Perhaps in the Chinese period of the Warring Nations, the story is told that these twelve animals are to run a race. <gasps> Wait. Really, dragon in China at that time? I also had this question. Who won the race? The Eastern tradition says the red road to victory by the length of the nose, his nose on top of the head of the ox. Why do family lie up to talk to the fortune teller and the temple? temple the the day of Chinese New Year. I know. They asked the fortune tellers to look into the future. They hoped that you would tell them a good day or year to do something important in the future. Of course, they charge money for this advice. Oh, can they really see what will happen in the future? Have you ever heard someone say that they won at the horse races because they first went to the fortune teller to pick three? Winners at the same race? No, they consult charts and pay attention to the position of the moon. But the sun, stars, or the moon have no power over the behavior of animals or humans on the earth. So if I do poorly on my Chinese test, I cannot blame my results on the position of the moon. Oh, please stop, Elmo. That's silly. <laughs> I know, I know. Just checking on the chances my parents would beat me or understand me. In this morning's message, we read in Luke chapter 4, verses 18 through 19, the Bible talks about how the year of the Lord's favor had arrived. The Spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Oh, that sounded like a good fortune. They charge money for that prediction? No. The prophecy came from God and was made 800 years before. What is Jesus trying to do? He wishes for the people to understand the purpose of his arrival, to be more than just eating bread and following him around to watch miracles. We can see now his teaching is important and has to fall of the power of God. He must first open our eyes to see him as God and king of his kingdom. This is why 2023 can be Jesus' year for all of us. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, forgive us for no, not seeing that this year can be your year to work in our life. We look at our homework and feel we are too busy. We look forward to spending time 
time with our friends. Help us to attack English worship and Bible study this year. In your name we pray. Amen.